been two weeks since we lost Danny. We decided to head to Cherno for some supplies. This is a very good friend of mine, and his name is Quinn. Oh. Quinn? Hey there. How's it going? This is <laughs> JT. You look familiar. I don't know how to take this, Quinn, but... This is Danny's brother. What? Are, are you serious? Yeah, Danny was my little brother. I was came to look for him. Everything went bad, bad back home. Back home, like in the U.S.? Yeah, in Texas. I, I don't. Like you mean the infection? No, it's like the same problem here. I don't know. You, you gotta be kidding me. I've already had it to take out a couple of them fucking crazies since I've been here. The same in Texas. Oh no, my wife and daughter. This can't be. Yeah. It's okay, Clint. Just take a breath. Are you sure it's all over the states? I don't know about everywhere, but I know in Texas for sure. If it's not done already, it's a matter of time. I'll never get to see them again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All this time, I've been trying to get in contact, and just like that, it's over. And I'm sorry, JD. Well, I'm sad for my brother. I told him of what happened. I'm really sorry for your brother. Trust me, I know the feeling. Well, if he died, he died protecting you guys. JT needed some closure about his brother's death, so we went back to Green Mountain a few days later. <sighs> they want to go for a little walk. I'll be back. Needless to say, you JT right? was pretty upset. You want me to come with you? Yeah, I'll be alright. Alright, don't get lost. He's been having a tough time dealing with his brother's past. Recently, anyway. And that he came here to meet, uh, well, find his brother, basically, but only to learn the harsh truth. Well, he'll be alright. If he's like his brother, he's tough. His brother died uh, defending us. Honorable death. Put the gun down. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All of a sudden, an unknown man causing disturbance with a gun to his head. Oh my god! Ooh. Oh my god. I'm gonna kill himself! Amazing grace. We should bury him. How sweet the sound. Make the grave. That saved a wretch like me. Obviously, he had somebody he loved very much. She might still be out there, because he said to say that he loved her. And that's fair enough for me to say that I guess he still had a bit of sanity in him. So wherever you are, stranger, rest peacefully. And I hope you find your way now. Later on, our friend Carl approached me with something huh. strange. Where'd you find us? It was in that green backpack inside. The guy in red? 
one of these things possessed him one time and made him crazy. Uh, uh, I would keep it away from him and anybody else. Yeah. Shit. He had to kill like, the, the guy who put it on him in order for him to be freed. It was really fucked up and messed up, man. What the hell? Don't let anyone... If I was you, I'd take that thing, bury it somewhere here, or just throw it over the wall, let nobody see it. That thing can cause problems. Anyway, I don't believe this type of cockamamie, baloney story. This type of nursery rhymes that they tell children to be scared of now. You guys make yourselves at home, yeah. you know? Everyone's welcome here, as long as you play nice. Large group came into the compound later on. I'm gonna go get warmed up here. Yes, play nice. They seem to be with something called the family. JT seemed really interested in knowing more about this family. I don't suspect this is Carlos. Yeah, I was just asking Nico about the family. I would just like to know more about the family. There's still quite a mystery to me. The maker's the almighty, right? The maker? The building right here is the gun in my hand. It will give you the light. Hello? You can see why. My name is Quinn. What's your name? I think I might want to hold on to it. It's a real, real pleasure to meet you, Blake. That's my friend. He used to play guitar with me. What's a guitar? It's a musical instrument. You play music with it. Do you like music? Blake asked me to sing a song, but we were interrupted. Why didn't you follow me? You hear me? Well, because brother told me to follow him. What's going on? Of course, it didn't take too long for some commotion to start at the front gate. Hey, hey, keep it on a calm level, man. No, I'm not going to What's going on? These people apparently had an issue with this Jessica. <laughs> because Carlos knows what you did yesterday. I don't know if you're quite aware about the actually the repercussions. Yeah, I, the I, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't? Hey, like to me right now. Hey, uh, you no, shot no, me. Okay, you know stole what? a ship. Hey, remember me? Oh, why would me? I did not Hey, do these, do, these, do these look familiar? Yes, because you were, uh, you were uh, uh, you positioned yourself right Actually, up Actually, I was, and I was you outside the him. gate. And, uh, hey, I Jessica, yeah, I know, I know you're full of shit, but don't lie in front of everyone. Get the fuck Burn back on the ground. The stick. Burn her at the stick. Simon, Simon didn't say. Now tell me, did you or did you not shoot at my amigos yesterday at this current location? I did, I did, but I couldn't tell you the story. Excuse me, you did. Yeah, huh? she shot me That's too, up. for no reason. What is stopping me from shooting you? Go right in. Put, put your stuff on the ground, yes? Hey, Except for the people hey man, involved, she don't course. listen. Right, yeah, I'm gonna give you ten more hey, seconds, yes? If you don't I put believe your shit on the ground, I'm gonna end your life. If one, two, uh -huh. put your fucking pants back on, what is this? Come on. At least the family's decent. Alright, now go inside the... Uh, about to get real. The jail, There's yes. two guys We're walking up as well. Now, Yes. Hey, whatever happens point to that gun, boy. It's not my concern, yes. Slow down, boy. Hey, you're all vulture. You caused, you know, you were on shooting hey, people in the effect is. Too, boy. I'm gonna yeah. interrogate you and yeah. here with all your stuff. Yes. Yeah. Go inside the jail. Brother, should one of us oh, watch the door? Oh, alone, this ain't that right. Get inside, yes. Now tell me, what in the right mind gave you the obligation to shoot at Carlos yesterday? I didn't kill him. For some reason I don't believe you, because you took refuge in the tower. Hey, uh, Carlos. No, so maybe we should have a trial. Trial? That's a terrific idea. Court is in session, I ask, uh, only talk when appointed to. And they set up a trial. With a jury and all. Perhaps Jessica will make it out of this alive. The defense, the defense, uh, state your case. Uh, my name is Mickey Sarantino. Uh, basically, my client is to the, uh, pleading not guilty by reason of self-defense. Uh, 
basically she states that the you know, people were being hostile to her, towards her and a group and she reacted in a way to preserve her own safety and her, her friends lives okay Jessica I want you to tell me everything that tell everyone the jury over here and uh, judge what happened uh, okay uh, so basically uh, my group made a plan to uh, flashbang which of course is a dumb idea but I didn't throw anything uh, and then when you got when when uh, we made sure that when nobody complied, we would throw a grenade. And I didn't, of course, do anything, and I didn't kill anybody. I made my way to the tower, uh, right in that little room. I was almost almost immediately being shot at, so I took refuge in it. Again, there was no way to prove that I was with them. I I didn't initiate. I didn't do anything such as that. At one point, I looked down and I saw that my friend was being robbed. He was knocked out, and all of his stuff was taken, and he had nothing to do with the event. Absolutely nothing. And so I took shots at the person who knocked him out. There was somebody outside of the compound, and we said, nobody leave the compound. And then raised his weapon and was ready to fire. And then I took shots just to get him to go away. All right. Prosecution, begin your case. Yes. Uh, all right. Hello, jury. Fantastic day today. My name is uh, Carlos Martinez. It's a pleasure to uh, be Hola. the prosecutor for this uh, wonderful case. So, me and a couple of amigos, yes, we were playing a nice little game with a couple of people that uh, we happened to pick up, yes. As soon as she went in the tower, you know, there was some screaming going on outside the compound, yes. A lot of yelling, a lot of screaming, no one really knew what the fuck was going on. And as soon after, everyone was slightly blind by a flashbang. As admitted to her, yes, her friends threw flashbangs. And the attempt to hurting people with grenades and gunfire and such like that. So now tell me, jury, yes, uh, what, uh, what in the right mind does it make it okay for someone to just throw flashbangs and legally blind people, yes, to throw grenades to hurt innocent people, yes. Objection. She claims that she didn't shoot anybody, yes. And I have a key witness that I'd like to bring to the stands today, yeah, Mr. Uh, yeah. Drew Fisher, yes? Come to the stand. Yes. Hello. I was uh, outside this uh, fence right here, over in the forest. Uh, I heard screaming, so I didn't enter Green Mountain. Uh, I took out my binoculars and I uh, looked at Jessica through them. And moments later, after looking at her through my binoculars, she shoots me uh, three times in my left arm. I'll show you guys right here. Jury, as you can see, up on my left arm, I've got three uh, bullet wounds. Uh, Jessica was the one who admitted them. Uh, you said that the, this this woman here, the defendant, uh, shot you three times, right? You, you showed your evidence of the bullet holes and stuff? Yes, and I was outside of the compound, and Jessica had seen us, and she was just aiming her gun at us. Uh, pulled out my binoculars, looked at her, and then was shot three times. So isn't it possible that, you know, she mistook her for people who were supposedly robbing her friend? Uh, um, no, there's, I mean, I wasn't even in the compound. Didn't even know. Uh, that's all I got. If the defendants don't have anything more to add uh, for the jury to make their decision, yes? Yeah, I do just one quick thing. You all know how it is out here. You know, sometimes people try to do bad things to you. Sometimes, you know, shit happens, but at the end of the day, Maybe it's possible that my uh, client over there was just trying to defend her friends. Wouldn't you defend your friends in the same way? Does the uh, prosecution rest? Yeah, the prosecution rest. Uh, all, right. all right, go ahead. The jury went inside to figure out a verdict. Are we all here? So she basically admitted to it like twice and then was like never killed anybody after she admitted to shooting like two people. <laughs> yeah, she admitted that her group uh, attacked them, trying to rob them and aids and flashbangs. And I don't think her intention were to save her group. I think, I mean, it might have been, but uh. Well, even then, like. Yeah, like, they. It, um. They were just saying, like, like, wouldn't you guys defend your group? And I would agree with that if her group's intentions weren't to come here and just flashbang and rob, like, all of Green Mountain. Right, exactly. Yeah, that was a, a little mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. Their part, she was a part of that, so mm -hmm. makes her just as guilty as their, yeah. her group. I heard you're a doctor. So, it also happened to be the day I met Dr. Richard Quaid. Yeah. I've been, I've been away for a long time. I think, uh, I think it's time for me to rest. 
I got something for you. Yeah, sorry, sorry, I dropped it on the ground right here. It was hard to tell, but you might pick yeah, that up. Excuse me, sir. With the yellow armband? I think he was with the family. That's, uh, that's universal blood, and there's more where that came from. There's a friend of mine called yeah, Buddy. Uh, he uh, has that? universal blood. It's proven to be yeah, helpful on many occasions, you know? so it might help you out on your travels. Right. Yeah, Buddy's uh, right here. Oh, shit. What's your name? Me? Well, I am the esteemed Dr. Richard Quaid, greatest in all of Trinaris. The people she killed were defending their group, sure, but uh, actually innocent. Mm -hmm. Alright, I, th I think we've made our uh, decision. Go ahead and go out there and yeah. tell the tell them our decision. Oh, no, I think the jury's but, ready. No, we're not right. Right. He's he's silent. He's silent. The jury has uh, finished. Uh, who don't is really the spokesman care. of the jury? Silence, please, the jury. Which... Somebody give the jury, the jury verdict. Yeah, verdict. Damn. <laughs> All right, I will. We put find the uh, we find her guilty. Shit. All right. On all accounts. Oh. On all accounts. All accounts, oh, even the robbery shit. against right. Jay. Jessica, I hear I find you guilty and sentence you not to death. Oh, oh thank God. Pain. Oh, a circle of pain. That's so... I am oh, a guy. Circle of pain. All right, how the circle of pain yeah. works. Simon, you uh, pain. I will show demonstration of the circle of pain. Arm. You will walk up I'm to the woman. You will punch her in, in the face. They beat her until she passed right. out. All right, stop. stop. Oh, enough. Stop. Enough. Stop. Shit, enough. 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 Guys, yeah, come okay. on now. Some are like goddamn animals. I'm just keep hitting her. I have gave my final verdict to her. You agreed to the trial, so you hereby are honored bound to the result. Is she gonna make it, Dr. Quaid? Luckily, there was a doctor here. Yeah, I just gave her a little uh, pick me up. Yeah, how you feeling? Good. Thank you for sparing my life. Uh, I'll make sure that I never do anything like this again. Bullshit. Next time I see you, I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of your head. That's the promise, okay? Next time I see you, I'm gonna fucking put a bullet in You hereby banished from this area now. Yeah, shit, you're dead right now. Everybody see the lady out. Please make sure they don't kill me. Does she have food at least or something? No promise, Jessica. Yeah, I have nothing to eat. You can't just let her go out there like that. Let her go find... There's an orange yeah, on the ground. Food, yeah. Man, we yeah. branded her a bandit. Now keep in my bottle, but I'm gonna give you a drink, okay? Is that too late? Okay. Can we still brand her? Really? Is that too late? Yeah, we should, we should brand her. We should brand her. Put a giant it's probably smart. bandit well, right across her forehead. Brand, brand. She suffered enough, really. I think she did. Hey, I, I got Killing shot four three people times and getting punched for no reason. There you go. Hey, uh, I think I, her I getting people. punched a little bit. She uh, had her trial. Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty good. Good. Still she I got her verdict, that. guys. I mean, well, come on. Go. Yeah. Go, go Jessica. That guy let him go. Out of the compound. Yeah, Everybody right. at the same time on Bet three shoot there. up in the air. If she doesn't run, she gets shot. One, two, three. Although we didn't have his body, when leaving Green Mountain, we decided to have a proper burial to pay our respects to Danny. Shortly after, we set off to find the next town, loot some more, survive another day. That's when Carl pulled me aside to speak to me about a woman. So it's about, uh, if you got. Yeah. She was always at Green Mountain. She contracted a disease. What? Not a good one. Nah. Holy shit. Yeah, what yeah. is it? You get it from human meat. What the hell? She didn't know. She, she's not a cannibal. She was in Green Mountain, and she just picked up a bunch of meat. She trusted it, but... I look out 